I summarized uh, uh, how we reduce uh, uh, the risk associated with uh, cardiomyopathy uh, induced by um, combinations of trastuzumab, pertuzumab and like anthracyclines uh, that we do thorough so history of the patient, exam uh, physical examination, uh, that uh, we monitor the patient's heart rate, we monitor cardiac symptoms and signs, uh, we uh, monitor body weight and um, we do especially uh, LVF uh, studies uh, beginning of the therapy and uh, every 12 weeks after. And the second uh, part of my talk uh, was focused on diarrhea associated with uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, uh, especially lipatinib and, and uh, neratinib. Uh, neratinib uh, now is uh, going for approval as a drug uh, being used uh, in the adjuvant setting. So it will be the first uh, TKI used uh, in the adjuvant setting of um, um, treatment of early breast cancer. and. Um, with that, obviously, we need uh, uh, thorough measures to reduce the incidence of uh, grade three, four diarrhea. And uh, my talk summarized the ways how to do that. Uh, mainly the usage of uh, loperamide. Uh, loperamide is a synthetic opioid uh, uh, frequently used in the treatment of diarrhea. Uh, this can also be obviously used uh, in treating TKI-associated diarrhea but also as prophylactic measure, uh, prophylaxis meaning that very early on we give a loading dose of loperamide and titrate it down a little bit, but uh, keep the prophylaxis for two cycles of norotinib. And with that, uh, we can lower the grade three diarrhea toxicity from 40% in, in the extended study down to approximately 10 to 15%, so quite significantly.